So, Rayas, first and foremost, um, I'm so sorry for the quality. I'm wearing two masks because I'm now going to go for a test for COVID. And I mean, obviously, I, I am positive because of my mother is also positive. She just found out today. And my thing is, I'm going to test and then I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to shoot for you guys when I get to this testing station. But if I can, I will shoot. If I can't, I won't. I'm not never for some reason I'm not nervous I'm not like anxious I'm I usually somebody suffers from anxiety but I'm I'm so calm about this situation because even if I test positive it's like for me I already have made peace with the fact that I'm positive because I do feel like firstly I do have the signs and symptoms and my mother did test positive so it's like one plus one equals to two you understand that kind of a thing but anyways um. I'm gonna test if I'm able to record for you guys. I will do so. If I can't, well, I failed to do so. But I wanna take you guys through this journey, Agaya COVID. For the first time, this is gonna be the first time of me having COVID. And the worst part about it, I am, if I'm positive, high chances are I'm having the mutated version of COVID, which is the Delta strain, cause this is the third strain that we are having. So, yeah. Ugh. So yeah, let me go and test and then if I'm not able to record, I'll speak to you guys when I come come back from the testing. But I will take you guys through the journey. Every time that I feel like talking to you guys, I will pick up a camera and talk to you guys. So yeah. So Royals, I literally just, let me, because I'm now in my room. Yeah, I was wearing double mask because I wanted to protect everybody around me. Um... So I got, I did do my test right, and the doctor mentioned that because my mother's positive and I'm symptomatic, I'm showing symptoms, I'm supposed to isolate. As you can see, the door is closed. Nobody's allowed to enter my room. Like none of my family members are allowed to enter my room or exit. So when I, so this was gonna happen for the next 10 days, I'm going to stay <clears throat> in my bedroom and then, um. So with food, I have to notify my family that I want to get some food, then wear a mask, go do myself some food, then come back to the bedroom. That's how it's going to work with me and my mother, also with my sister. Because so they did give me some medication and I'm going to show them to you guys. Guys, please don't worry. So I, I, I usually leave my laptop at the city room because I, I watch Netflix on it and then I connect it to the TV. But because I now have to stuck, I'm stuck in my bedroom for 10 days, I'm going to be using it for Netflix. Here's my JBL speaker. Because I had this speaker for over 8 years, if I'm not mistaken. And that's why it's so... Um, so... Um, these are painkillers. I got painkillers for when my body is in pain. I usually do, I, I am not, I'm one person who doesn't like to take medicine, so I doubt, I highly doubt that, that I'm gonna be using painkillers unless I'm in excruciating pain. And then this, honestly, I forgot what are this, but all I know is that, um, let me see. Hmm, all I know is that, uh, I only take one of them and then it's actually as you can see it's actually only three of them and then uh, I have this apparently I have to cover this so I have I only have to use like I have to take one spoon of this put it in three tablespoons of warm water and then gargle it meaning gargle with it then obviously vitamin c so so yeah that is what i've been dealing with right now i actually bought myself some food when i entered the the the, 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 the house i literally took my oats and then i made bread with some archer i'm not really hungry because the oats that i'm eating right now i actually just eat like only 20 percent of it earlier on in the morning so yeah, I guess I'm stuck in the room for next for the next 10 days. I'm going to keep on updating you guys. By the way, I want to explain something. Yesterday, now, 
I was in so much pain. Yes, today I actually feel much better. My energy levels are back up. Yesterday I have a lot of fatigue. I had this crutch, like the headache that I had. Yo, I literally thought I was dying. My, like, have you ever had headache and then you like? I literally felt so dizzy. That headache drove me crazy from yesterday. So today I should, and I actually feel better without even taking medication today. All I just did was to sleep it off, which is something that I usually do with my body. So. As this thing, I was in so much pain comparing to today. So yeah, I'm guessing I'm gonna update you guys whenever there's an update. But right now I'm about to eat, watch some Netflix, change and be more comfortable. I did not wanna go to the doctor looking horrible. I mean, who knows? I might have fainted. By the way, I did the swab. If you're wondering the type of test that I did, I did the the throat one. It is a little bit discomfortable because yo, I think the doctor reached up until this point. But I know I'm talking to you in a lower voice. I will try to increase um the vo the audio with in terms of post editing and then I mean post production and then yeah guys I'll keep on updating each and each and every day and taking to you guys. But what I'm right now planning is that I want to start exercising because I know I can't stay in bed for the whole day. So yeah, let me now just watch Netflix, eat and then. But guys, oh, today I'm doing better. Yesterday, uh, but I'll anyway, keep on taking you guys this day. And by the way, if you're asking yourself why did I decide to vlog, I've always said I want to be authentic as much as possible to you guys. And this is, for me, I know, actually, I'm going to be honest, it's very scary for me to share this part of my life. Actually, not share this part. It's very scary for me to share the fact that I might be positive of COVID. There isn't being, a lot of people are paranoid with COVID and I'm afraid of the stigmas that come with being positive and with being with covid but at the end of the day this is part of something this is part of a challenge that I've, i'm going through and i want to share it with you guys so yeah i'll talk to you guys tomorrow early or later today so yeah let me eat so guys if there's one thing that i've been using to like to unblock my nose i've been using this eucalyptus oil and placing it into a humidifier to fill up my room so you and then um yeah but today i feel better guys and like honestly i feel so much but i even was dancing and listening to music and yada yada but if i test positive i have to stay in here for 10 days even though i feel amazing compared to yesterday but anyway yeah so I think I'm gonna close the vlog for today, right? And then I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. So guys, it is the next day, right? And my father is the one who's taking care of us. Because he's the one who's okay, right? So, what happens with the procedure I had in Jonah? He calls, like he calls in and he tells you if you want your food. Remember, we have to stay in our own rooms, right? He calls in, tells you if you want food, and then you reply yes, and you tell him whatever you need, right? Like, in, for instance, today, you are saving porridge, but then, like, if you want sugar, milk, butter, and whatever, you tell him, then he brings it to your room. Then sanitizes your hands. You you are wearing your mask, by the way. You wear your mask. Then sanitizes your hands. And then, after all of that, you then pour your things. And then he takes out the butter, sugar, and milk. And then you remain in your room and eat. So, you know. So Ryan, it's late at night. Um by the way, I'm not whispering my voice, like something tempered with my voice. This COVID, if it is COVID, because I still have not gotten my results. It is day two, and I still have not gotten my results due to the fact that because we are living on the third wave, we are currently in third wave here in South Africa. 
testing is very slow getting your results is very slow so yeah and then secondly i did take my medication for the first time today i did not take it yesterday because i think i wanted to start, start afresh but the only thing that i actually took from the morning up until right now at night was that gargling thing because that's the only thing i have to drink three times a day but as of the rest of the medication since i only have to take it once a day i just took them after eating my dinner so yeah guys um today i feel much better as i've compared to yesterday i don't have like any feeling in terms of headaches and blah 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 because for the past two days i do it did have okay actually the day before yesterday i did have like pounding headache as i've mentioned yesterday or the day before yesterday i was in very very much pain but yesterday i was feeling better today i'm feeling much better so um i want to address something guys with covid you know i'm i feel like i'm very blessed because honestly it's high it's not having that much of a negative impact on me than how other people it has had like there are there are people that literally say it's the worst feeling ever and it's like it's the worst experience of their lives but i have been sicker than this i have been more ill than this i have felt like dying before and it was not because of covid so right now i'm not even sure if i have covid but with the circumstances that i'm surrounded with or i have i do believe that i have it so i would say with the covid that i have um mm -hmm. i feel like it's, for me it did not have that negative impact on my body which is a great thing because you know you hear the stories of people who are hospitalized who need oxygen masks for them to be able to breathe it's sad and it sucks i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow so guys this is the first time kit and so Ryan's, um, i'm in the kitchen currently and look my friends are sitting over there how i wish i was them so no it's like living in the prison so i'm currently making my eggs eggs for myself yep. yeah it is the next day and i'm just making myself some eggs as this is the only way you are supposed to live and i'm still wearing double mask and then yeah i'm now in my bedroom because i actually want to take off this mask and talk to you guys properly so yeah sorry for the mess so yeah, i want to actually clean up my bedroom it's a mess by the way i did get my results um i am positive do you see why it's written detected so yeah i'm positive well that is no it's not a no brainer because i knew that i was gonna test positive so yo royas i got my most favorite food say paco so here's the thing we have somebody who's dedicated come on not dedicated designated for like this kind of things for you join blah 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 so we asked him to order food for us and then add it is so yeah the same procedure that i told you guys of getting food is still being observed so yeah mm. so update about today today my throat and like this part of my body like the esophagus part was very painful today it was actually not painful so and then my lower back it is still very 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 painful i did do some stretches and i did exercise it did not help um as i've mentioned today earlier that i did miss going out i missed being with my friends i missed being able to have a choice of going outside the house and 
I, you know, those little things you, you take them from for granted when you have them, but when they're taken away from you, 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 you kind of see the value of them. Um, <clears throat> guys, I wanna say the importance of testing, right? So, when my mother, I would say, got infected, we thought it was flu. We just brushed it under the bed. We told him just. She was actually we did not tell him because it's a hair. She was just resting and relaxing, taking some medication because we were thinking that it's flu. But then we saw after like two days or I called, this might be the vid, the vid, right? Then she tested positive. I also tested. Now I'm very fortunate because, as I've mentioned, I think early, I, I I did not get the effects, the negative effects that other people they've experienced from COVID. That is something I'm very, very fortunate. And then, um, um, this shows that you actually can be asymptomatic to COVID. But yes, I was showing symptoms. Even though technically, even now, I'm still showing symptoms. As I've mentioned the day before yesterday, it was very hectic for my body. And, had had I still have been going through that or had I not gotten better, we'll be seeing another story today. But I'm very fortunate that COVID is not that bad or drastic to me and my sister, even though it's my mother now seems a lot better. So here's the thing, I'm not I've not told anybody about me testing positive. I'm going to announce it to my school friends tomorrow. And then I'm going to also announce it to my school tomorrow. And then other people, I don't want to tell them because I sort of don't need, I don't want that drama, I would say. I don't want that drama, I would say. But yeah, it's not easy living in your bedroom. So tomorrow, I actually want to clean it up. It's a mess. Like it's a whole mess. I want to try to keep to clean up and to do tomorrow I actually have school work that I wanna do. Yes guys, even when you're sick, you try to push for school work and then Yeah, but today was one of those days where my physically I'm better or I'm okay but yes even though besides the pain, the lower back and blah 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 but my spiritual my spiritual sense of being and my emotional being was not motivated like uh, i just have not even been feeling myself so yo let me just go i just finished eating so let me just go take my medication and then call it a night so it is the next day obviously um so i just want to give you guys an update about my boy i have a block nose and i still have a i don't have a sore throat anymore but it's jacked up as like I have a cough. I have a wet cough. So yeah. Um so if I sound like I'm blocked, yes, I do have a block nose. And secondly, I was educating myself more on the, the, the COVID in don't don't. So apparently, after ten days of showing symptoms of COVID, you actually are no longer contagious. So this means that you still might have COVID, but you just just that you are not contagious. So that's a relief because I was worried about what about after my isolation period am I still a risk to society? But I just found out that I'm okay. So yo, that's all that I did not want to give you guys today. I feel much better. I still have a lower back ache, but today is much better compared to yesterday and the previous days. And today I just have a problem. So even my eyes are much better because like with my eyes now, when I would like move them like like far like <laughs> how should I say like when I try like to look like at the ceiling on the floor but standing in the peripheral view I could feel some sort of muscle muscle pain but as of now it's okay it's fine my eyes are okay just that I have a blocked nose and I checked up throat and then that's it so yo yeah. <sighs> um, the I think six of my isolation, and I've been 
guys please ignore that i mean i am sick so i have been i was filming and then here's my light and then yeah so i'm i'm actually gonna stop shooting or filming this video right here because i feel like all my days are the same and my symptoms all my all of my symptoms went away like all of them like i'm literally now feeling properly better and then i'm actually gonna continue so the next clip that you guys are gonna see it's on it's going to be my day 10 of isolation which is gonna be my last day of my last isolation i'm so excited about day 10 and yeah i want to say thank you so much to all of my friends who've been checking up on me sending me prayers wishing me well wishing me a speedy recovery i really appreciate you guys and i appreciate the messages so 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 very much it's really i am like i'm honestly 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 thankful and then um um yeah so i'm gonna see you guys on the 10th day of my isolation i'm excited but if you're wondering the video that i was filming here guys please never like don't mind that um I was doing a playlist video i will link it down below so yeah if you guys have not seen that video i will link it down below and go check it out it's where i was doing 10 of my favorite ama piano songs so yeah guys now let me now go to sleep i just finished studying so yeah i'll see you guys on the next on the day on day 10 victory is ours because it is day 11 of isolation meaning that i'm done with quarantining <laughs> <laughs> first day outside <laughs> what are you doing? So Royals, um, I just came back from the shopping center and it is day 11 of my isolation. It is the first time that I'm able to um, get outside and you can even hear the need, like the birds chirping, like it's really, it's really such a surreal moment and I will never take it for granted like being able to sit in the sun and like feel <clears throat> and like feel the heat it's truly a blessing and we, we you know we, we we undermine it and we don't think about it when you have it but when it's taken away from you it's like oh my gosh so yeah i'm finally out of isolation and i will say this one thing that i knew was gonna happen and actually happened was that i'm gonna have anxiety flare-ups so when we went to the uh complex shopping center um and on the way you would see people not wearing masks like My anxiety flared up and I did not want to surround myself with people and 
that's why i'm now very anxious about returning back to school i'm very nervous and i'm very anxious about going back to school so yeah that was my journey you guys um i feel so better like i'm so i feel like i'm back to my original self i feel good my energy levels are back up and i'm excited of what life mm -hmm. can offer her. but i will never take I will never I will never take it for granted when I'm able to step out of that door like I will never ever again so yeah that was me sharing my COVID journey with you guys and I hope you somewhat are informed guys if you have the opportunity to get vaccinated please 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 get vaccinated we need to reach head immunity so that you can be able to go in, back to our lives where how they used to be without mask and etc we need to really go back to back to life and to that sense of freedom and release so please vaccinate if you have the opportunity to vaccinate and especially because here in our country it's free of charge to vaccinate you just need to register online currently they're doing a rollout from 34 up until 18 so please if you are in that age yeah, group please go vaccinate it's really important that you go and vaccinate so yeah we came to the end of the video please 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 subscribe like and share maybe it might help somebody who knows so please share and tag me while you're watching this video on instagram screen record post it on your story and tag me at okini i always leave a link to my instagram page down below so go follow me there too yeah I don't know what more to say, but I'm so grateful. I'm right now. I'm planning what I'm gonna like take a blanket and light where Alam and then just soak in the sun. But yeah, it has been such an interesting journey living in your bedroom. I like I literally just had to live in my bedroom. So yeah, guys, I'm really thankful. For, I'm thankful to God that COVID really. It did not have that much negative impact on us compared to how other people it usually does. Like for us, we were very fortunate. It, it did not really destroy us compared to how other people. And I'm thankful that none of us died. I mean, this disease, we all know it does take people. And I'm so thankful that it, we did not die from it. And yeah, to God be the glory. Do not forget to wear your confidence crown. Much love. We are outside we are outside you know seeing people passing away from this disease and actually me contracting it you know it it it, it made me to have a new perspective of life i'm really so grateful for my life i'm really grateful for being alive and being blessed and giving the gift of life you know we need to start living in our present moment into the present living in the present and yeah, I mean, I can't wait to for what more for life to offer. And I'm excited of this beautiful journey being my life. And yeah, guys, please live your, your life the best way you can possibly be live it. This is a lesson to all of us that we need to embrace life and to be empowered by life and to enjoy life. My name is Krim Nyamani, a.k.a. O King. Please do not forget to wear your confidence crown. Much life. To God be the glory. Bye-bye.